Hey everybody, it's Ms. Barnacle again with another module and today we're going to talk about proportions and proportions, if you look at the screen, are two ratios that are set equal to each other. Um, if you notice this is an example of um, with Starbucks, it says the size of drink, you have 16 ounces equals 80 calories, so if you change to 24 ounces, it wants to know how many calories that one would be. So those are called proportions and that's what we're fixing to work on on the board. And if you notice, how do you solve proportions? Well, you solve proportions using cross products. Cross products means to multiply in the shape of an X. So you would do 80 times 24, you would do 16 times N, and then you would divide, okay? Um, 80 times 24, you'll see on the screen, equals 1,920. 16 times N is 16N, and then when you divide, you find out that an 80, a 24 ounce Starbucks would be 120 calories for their black iced tea. So we're gonna do some basic cross products right now and find our missing number for our proportion. Here we go. All right, so I have a basic proportion right here. I have N divided by 30 is equal to two divided by three. So to do the answer to this, we wanna do cross products. Cross products means to multiply in the shape of an X. So we do three times N is equal to two times 30, okay? And the dot means multiplication. So three times N is three N. 2 times 30 would be 60. And then the last thing you do is divide because you always want to do the opposite to make sure that you get the letter by itself. And when we divide, we find that N is equal to 3 divides into 60 20 times. So N equals 20. Okay? So when I have another one, I have seven divided by something is equal to six divided by five. So I'm gonna do cross product, seven times five is equal to six times N. So that means that's 35 is equal to six N. And I do my division. And when I do my division, now this doesn't divide evenly, and that's okay. Um, so let's see what it is. Six divides into 35. Oh, let's see. Five times, which makes 30. So that leaves me five left. So five and five, six. Now, you can leave it as five and five, six. If you try to change it into a decimal, it's gonna come out as a repeating decimal. So to me, either one should be sufficient depending on what they ask you to do. All right, so that's all for that one. Okay, now let's go to the next topic dealing with proportions, and that is to tell if they're equal or not equal. And the easiest way to do that is to do cross products. Excuse me. When you do your cross products and you multiply, then if they're equal, then the proportion's equal. If they're not equal, then the proportion's not equal. So we're gonna do these two examples that are at the bottom of the page and see if we have equivalent cross products or proportions or not. So here we go. We have seven thirds and 14 six. So to find out if they're equal, we cross multiply seven times six. And let's erase some of this so that I can have a little bit of room. Okay, seven times six. And we wanna know if that's equal to 14 times three. Well, seven times six is 42. 
and 14 times 3, that would be 12. And plus the 1 is 42. So yes, this is a true proportion, okay? And then we want to try the other one. Now I bet you can look at this and know, but this is just for a demonstration. 7 times 2 and 6 times 3. Well, 7 times 2 you know is 14. 6 times 3 you know is 18. Well, 14 and 18, they're not equal. So we put a dash through there to say that that is not equal. That's what that symbol means. And that's how you deal with cross products. And that's the end of this module. And I will see you back again.